50 people hostage, including about 17 Americans. Among them was 27-year-old Imba Hyman, who went to the rave with a group of friends. She was volunteering as a helper for people at the concert who needed a guide or any kind of assistance. Joining me now is Imba's boyfriend, Noam Alon. We appreciate your time today. I'm so sorry for what you're going through. Thank you. So your girlfriend of 18 months, you believe has been kidnapped by Hamas. What can you tell us about what happened to Imba? Um, from what that we are knowing from a, a testimonial of two guys who were with her and from a video that Hamas, Hamas uh, was published, we can know for sure that uh, Imba was kidnapped to Gaza uh, when she she is alive, and we can uh, we can only pray and 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 to believe and to hope that she's okay there. But but we are know that she is kidnapped, that she is holding as hostage there. Yeah. And so you, you two met when you were studying graphic design. She decided to go to this music festival with some friends. Who has told you yes. kind of what happened, what unfolded uh, when the terrorists arrived at this festival? Yes, in bar, uh, she used to go uh, to lots of uh, these kind of peace parties, uh, music festivals, and every time she go with her best friends, and this time she didn't return. And like we know, since the early morning, there was uh, like uh, alarms for the uh, rockets, uh, so the party, the, the festival st stopped really early and one hour, uh, even less later on, the terrorists uh, arrived by cars, by motorbikes and yes. And her friends told you that uh, she'd gone to a car and then that she was running on foot to escape the terrorists. Yes, yes. Uh, it started like after the alarms of the rockets. The war police officers there. It's a big festival. Uh, it's a, a really known one. So there were like uh, paramedics and um, police officers uh, who guided everybody to run, uh, get inside the cars and to drive away. But because they couldn't like uh, reach on, there was only one uh, exit road from there. Uh, so there was like a big uh, traffic. And at some point, um, the police officer tell everybody to leave the cars and, and to uh, uh, run to the uh, back to the party area. In bar was hiding under the stage with uh, her friends. And at some point, uh, this place wasn't safe anymore. So she ran away. She split from her friends. She um, uh, ran together with two guys that she didn't know, and uh, they ran. Uh, miles uh, away from the party area when uh, terrorists are chasing them. At some point, uh, one of the terrorists uh, managed to take her and uh, two other terrorists uh, um, riding on a motorized bike came and they took her away. The two other guys managed to survive, but they saw him by taking away. And Noam, you have seen a video posted by Hamas showing your girlfriend. Can you describe what you saw, what condition she was in? From what uh, we can see personally, I didn't watch it because it was too hard for me. And people told me, like you know, my close family told me I shouldn't watch it. But from what we can see and from what I understand from this video, Bauer uh, got hurt in her face probably. Uh, they wanted her not to be in conscience when they are taking her. Uh, perhaps she tried to resist and they decide to hit her. But it seems like she's alive, but she got hurt. Uh, four terrorists holding her. And uh, it's not easy, of course, but we want to believe that this is a sign that she is alive. And we are really praying and we need a sign of life from her. Um, are you hearing any news from the Israeli government about her situation? Because obviously Israel has been bombing yes, Gaza. Yes, we do. We do. In the first days, we got no information. But yesterday, um, one person from the army, he spoke with uh, Inbar's family and he told them that as 
the army see um, in bar as kidnapped, not as missing. And they have the information, I think the same information as us, the, the testimony of the guys, the video that Hamas was uh, published. So they have it and for them, uh, they, they are saying she is kidnapped. There's um, no... So it's not... Do, have they given you any indication that they know where she and the other hostages are being held? No, no. Are you worried when you see the bombing that's happening in Gaza right now? Um, I do, but I, I'm sure that Hamas is keeping all the hostages, um, I guess, I, I think, like down below in the tunnels uh, that all of Gaza is like uh, built by uh, tunnels, uh, un underground tunnels. So I guess they're uh, keeping everybody there, but we don't know, of course, where she is, where all the hostages are. And you and Imban have, have traveled together over the past year and a half. You describe her as special, as an amazing friend. What do you want people to know about Imba? I want people to know that Imba is the best girlfriend and amazing person that everybody can just like, everybody lo loved her and then, and then uh, she's talented, she's brilliant, she's clever, she's funny. We just want her back, her and all the other hostages. She's so talented, she has like spirit of life and, and she don't, she, no one deserves to, to have these things, but, but we are I'm thinking... just thinking about what she's passing through, it's killing me to, to think about it. Yeah, it, it, it's unimaginable what you and, and her family are going through. Noam Alon, we appreciate your time. We wish you all the best and we hope you are reunited with her very soon. Thanks so much. Thank you.